<laughs> Absolutely incredible, as we expected. And as I'm sure for those of you who are familiar with shortwave radio band have come to know and love. But we'll get into all of that. First, I want to thank you all so much for joining us again this evening right here on our band show, the place to be for live music on YouTube. Thank you all so much for supporting us month in and month out. This is our 15th episode. That's absolutely insane. A milestone to say the least. And we're so thrilled to be sharing it with the electrifying shortwave radio band. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. You yeah. made the trip all the way down from Albany. You were not not only you put the you like you said earlier, you put the punctual or the punk and punctual. Yeah, we were twenty minutes early. Twenty minutes early. <laughs> what more could you ask I for? <laughs> um and, and if you guys are asking for more, you're you're in the right place. The show is just beginning, so sit back. Even though the band might want to run away, you guys should stay put because we have a jam packed amazing electrifying experience for you tonight right here on our band show um and, and so guys i mean you know we've been talking a little bit throughout the day but this might be some of our audience's first time ever meeting shortwave radio band so i would like to as we do here when we start our band show uh interview number one kind of paint the picture how did shortwave radio band come to be who would like to start walk us through from the oh infancy God. to where we are now. We want the full origin story, just like Marvel Phase One. So Leave like, nothing on the cutting room way floor. Way back to the dinosaur. No, <laughs> uh, it actually started. Uh, Lonnie and I grew up in the same uh, small town in Vermont, and even though I was like a couple years older, uh, everybody kind of knew each other, so we knew who we were. And he shredded on guitar when he was like ten. Um, fast forward, like. 30 years, 30 years later into the future. Uh, he sent me a message just out of nowhere and was like, Hey, do you know anybody that just wants to, you know, hang out and play some cover tunes in my garage or whatever? And I was like, I, I, I do. Where are you living? And come to find out we lived like five miles from each other. So we started jamming, uh, doing cover songs with a drum machine for a little bit. And then we added John and we went as a uh, power trio that's when i picked up the bass because before i was on acoustic guitar and then shortly after we added uh ryan and we actually have a fifth member who's not here tonight abby stone on trumpet and keys and vocals and tambourine and enthusiasm exactly <laughs> yeah. uh, but then once we had all five of us together we just went out and did it and Started booking gigs and writing tunes and going into the studio and releasing singles and getting some radio play and making videos and, you know. Yeah, we yeah. were part of a couple awards recognition things there that really launched it, that got us excited. And wow, people are responding to this and this is working out well. Let's just keep going. Yeah, fantastic. So how long has Shortwave Radio Band been a band? Uh, if you count the origin of just the two of us, it's been what, four years, yeah, four. a little over four years, but as a as five a, piece or, you know, our final form, a little over two, right? Yep. Two years, about two years. Right around two. Wow. You see, I was wondering because the musical chemistry you guys seem to share, I, I was thinking you'd say at least like six, seven, eight, maybe no, 10. And we so. do practice. We rehearse every week, uh, so we always get together. We like hanging out with each other, which helps. You know, like we practice for an hour and then hang out for several. Um, but yeah, I think that helped tighten us up, and you know, yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. It's always good to enjoy sharing time with the people you are creative with, and I love to see it. And I can tell your guys' energy, the camaraderie, um, it, it, it explodes, as I'm sure the audience is watching. It's exploding through the screen. Um, I mean, that first song was airtight, and we'll get to more music. Uh, before we talk about the sound and, and maybe some musical influences, can I get the origin of the name? It's a very unique name. The two words meshed together, having band in the name, but I know you're not talking about rock band, but I'd love to hear what inspired it. Well, I definitely added the the condensing the words because uh, radio band is not a word, but that's uh, that's the uh, SEO, you know, gets the the search engine stuff. So if you squish those words together, if you look up shortwave radio band, it finds us. But as far as the origin, that's you, man. Yeah, I mean, what's the origin really? I guess it's family oriented in a sense. My father, my grandfather, was a a war vet and he was all about these ham radios and stuff. And every time you'd go over, he'd be listening to the news over in some third world country or something in a language that I didn't understand, but he knew what was going on. And 
he was just a, a ham radio guy and a, it's kind of a just token of gratitude to him in some way to kind of keep that alive that there is some old school technology that's still relevant and like us yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah well that is a great segue and that's really awesome man i love that um you know I, you guys are playing a genre that is i would say still kind of progressing and developing and i certainly hear some of the modern influence but then i also like in that first song let's run away i mean there was a very like rancid even like buddy um you know um buddy guy like solo type Definitely of thing happening rancid, yeah yeah, like that that bluesy, but we're doing it over the punk chords. So so let's talk a little bit about your sound. You know, if someone's just stumbling upon this live stream right now, what would you want them to know about shortwave radio band? I don't know. Do you want to take it, Ryan? Sure. Well, I can take it from my perspective. You might hear a little reggae ska influence on some of the stuff that I play because I started out in a reggae band playing bass. Um, when I was in high school. So yeah, some Operation Ivy and Rancid influences as well, kind of meshed all together. Um, I think we all have our own influences and it sort of just melds together. I hear the Op Ivy. And uh, forgive me, I didn't mean to say Buddy Guy, although, you know, borrowing from the blues there, how could I not? But <laughs> um, I meant to say Chuck Berry, you know, that very fast, aggressive, old school, like rock and roll. I, I heard some of that in the solo, but then of course the rancid was very predominant. Um, and Op Ivy coming from that scene as well. I, I can I can definitely see that. Um, Andy, what about you? Like as far as the bass playing goes, holding down the low end and, and as we'll come to see, contributing some amazing vocals what, what would some of your inspirations be to culminate towards the shortwave radio band sound uh, i mean my main influence as these guys will attest to is uh no effects i've been a, a no effects fan i'm 50 now i've been an ofx fan since i was like 15 you know something like that um i'm actually playing with a uh, fat mic uh, signature pick which is a thinner pick for bass which is how you get the more stuff but uh yeah i'd say he's the because i don't even know how to play bass like a normal bass player so i would say like old punk rock like fat mic of no effects yep. probably the the biggest one i mean punk and drublick was huge for me um i me was too. in a punk band myself back in the day um and his his label so we found so many great bands because of him good yeah. riddance um uh zebrahead if uh, if i'm not mistaken um uh you know great great tunes coming out of uh, no effects and i definitely feel that vibe the fast pop punk but the thing is you guys have these catchy hooks you know so where's that come from oh, i don't know that's you well probably we just grew up in the 90s loved that type of music trying to keep that kind of stuff alive. You're going to hear a couple songs that might make you think of band like the Pixies or something like that. You might hear some other things, but basically just the whole nineties generation of music is what we grew up rocking out to. Okay. Keeping the name game going. There's a song later on in the set. Now, forgive me. I forget the name, but do you have these ooze? Um, and I get those Weezer vibes. You know, I get like that um, blue album, green album, oh, Pinkerton yeah. vibes off that record. Yeah. We actually made a, a parody uh, post that was the same color of the Weezer blue album with like us standing against it. And then I uh, emulated the Weezer font and wrote shortwave in the right hand corner. And it was that song. Yep. That, that Did you really? Is that album. on your social media for us to yeah, go and... it is. Yeah. Okay. Plug I, it. Where I, can I, they I, find I, it? Because that's uh, hilarious. <laughs> it's a underscore shortwave underscore radio band. And there's actually a couple of album parodies um, that I put up there. This sublime one that's a shortwave with a tattoo on his shoulder. Oh, uh, very yeah. cool. Man, Sublime, yeah. that's a huge one for me. For sure. I me mean, too. how could it not be? I, yeah. Especially with the Sky, I definitely hear the Sky influence, by the way. And um, I did get some of that Bradley that Bradley vibe in for there. For sure. Um, yeah, and it's is it is it uh, just parody? I think it's also homage, right? You know, yeah. paying tribute to... Yeah, I mean, to, it, is, uh, it is homage, because clearly we're not trying to make it out like it's our own original idea. We want people to see it and say, oh, these guys like Weezer, and these guys like Sublime, and... What yeah. was the last one I did? I did a parody of the Metallica's Black album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yeah. I got I got a uh, man. Social media, it's just such a beast. You know, I find myself scrolling too much, but there are good things out there. Clearly, I'll have to get in tune with that. Um, but uh, you know, speaking of tuning, and you guys might not think I'm going to throw to the drums, but the toms sound way too good. So, John, um, talk to me, man. What are some of your influences, and what do you feel you kind of bring to the shortwave radio band sound? Um, well, 
I grew up, well, I, John Bonham and Phil Collins and Neil Peart are my holy trinity. Um, so definitely a little heavier rock, and I was way into progressive rock with the Genesis and the S, yes, but definitely more listening than playing because that's not... Uh, <laughs> the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, man. Yeah, uh, it's one of my favorite <laughs> records of all time. And uh, yeah, Phil Collins, back when Peter was singing, unbelievable. Uh, but definitely Bonham and... Uh, you know, just the basic four-piece kit. Um, and I like getting the, the, the toms tuned nice and low to get that kind of more thunderous sound if possible. But, uh, yeah, just heavy hitting. And, um, you know, despite our, our producer, Tayo, always tells me to hit the snare harder. So I've been working on that. Totally. You but, know, with uh, the way your drum sound, dude, I feel like if I had a room mic in, we could really you know, get somewhat close to emulating, and I know this is legendary territory, so I'm choosing my words carefully, but emulating that intro of Dire Maker with oh. just that giant snare and, and that super roomy tone, like you have that feel. All I right. certainly feel it. Uh, thank you very much. That's a huge compliment. Yeah. No, hey man, I call it like I see it. And um, by the way, Genesis, like that's a rabbit hole that I went down years ago. My parents are both huge Genesis fans. Actually, um, their wedding song was, uh, um, wow, I'm forgetting the name right now, but the ballad, um, whatever, but great tune. And uh, so I've just, I, I didn't realize at first they were a prog band and that completely listening to the Duke, that album just completely, I was like, oh my God, this is like, yeah, beautifully. There's, there's so much great stuff there. Yeah, certainly. But it's cool that like you come from that world, yet you're really complimenting the songwriting of shortwave radio band perfectly. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't listen to a lot of punk, but I really, really enjoy it. And I'm learning a lot just by kind of spending time with these guys, uh, really enjoying it. Um, and like Lonnie mentioned earlier, the 90s, you know, I was all about Soundgarden. I was all about, you know, that Seattle scene was great. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That Seattle scene, man, what a, uh, what do they call those? Uh, p some type of pocket, like a pool of talent that was just budding with incredible, it was almost like a competition, but then you have like that one band where they're all in the same band. Uh, someone help me out here. Temple uh, of the Dog. Thank you. Temple yeah. of the Dog. So it's like, they're just in it for the love, you know? And yeah. it's, uh, I feel that same way about you guys, which is why sure. I, which is why I bring it up. So we, we're, we're going to have so many more great conversations here tonight. Everyone, please be sure to, um, stick around, you know, share this video with a friend, like, subscribe, comment. That will certainly help not only our show, but it will help us get the music of shortwave radio band out there to everyone on the internet. And speaking of everyone sort of, you know, hanging and, and just, you know, he, who's here on the internet right now, we have some messages in the chat. And if you guys want, drop a question. As, tra as is tradition here on the Our Band Show uh, live streams, we, we love taking some questions that you might have for the band. In fact, some of our best moments uncovering Great details that we didn't even think to ask come from chat entered questions. So don't be shy. Um, let us know what you'd like to to ask the band, and, and we'd be more than happy to be your conduit to shortwave radio. Uh, and if you're shy and you still want to show some support, you just drop the radio emoji in the chat. I mean, show the guys that you care by dropping a little radio in the chat. Speaking of the chat, I want to head over and uh, I want to thank Stephen Alling, who's given us the Metal Fists. Yeah. So that's nice, a Steve. good um, Slip Groove alumni. Ah, Gentlemen, you know thank groove. you for supporting, saying sounds and looks awesome. Well, we love to hear that. Thank you so much. And uh, Matt Delgado says, whoop, ah, the tallest Matt boys. From Erie. Oh, there we go. The tallest boys with the shortest wave. So some alumni love happening in the chat tonight. Thank you all so much. And uh, wow. I could talk all night, but I don't want to because your music's too good. So with that, with that said, gentlemen, uh, shall we jump into the first set of the evening? Sure. Fantastic. <laughs> 